In Islam, nurses provide health care services to patients, families and communities as a manifestation of love for Allah and Muhammad. The nursing profession is not new to Islam. Islamic traditions include sympathy for and responsibility toward those in need. This perspective had emerged during the development of Islam as a religion, culture, and civilization. Topic: <laughs> Ethos of health care service. In Islamic traditions, caring is the manifestation of love for Allah and Muhammad. Caring in Islam, however, is more than the act of empathy, instead, it consists of being responsible for, sensitive to, and concerned with those in need, namely the weak, the suffering and the outcasts of society. This act of caring is further divided into three principles, intention, thought, and action. Intention and thought refer to who, what, where, when and why to care, whereas action is related to the knowledge necessary to be able to care. In short, health care is deemed as service to the patients and to Allah, as opposed to other professions that are commercial-based. This ethos was the fundamental motivating factor for the majority of the doctors and nurses in the history of Islam. <laughs> <laughs> Approach to health care service Another aspect of Islamic health care service that distinguishes it from the contemporary Western health care industry is the holistic approach to health and well-being taken. This holistic approach consists of both treating the organic basis of the ailments and providing spiritual support for the patient. This spiritual component comes in the form of tawhid oneness of Allah, a dimension lacking in current Western models of nursing and, thus, could pose as a challenge for application of this model of nursing to Muslim patients as it does not meet their holistic needs. <laughs> First Muslim nurse The first professional nurse in the history of Islam is a woman named Rufayda bint Sa'ad, also known as Rufayda al-Islamiyah or Rufayda al-Islamiyah, who was born in 620 est, and lived at the time of Muhammad. She hailed from the Bani Aslam tribe in Medina and was among the first people in Medina to accept Islam. Rufayda received her training and knowledge in medicine from her father, a physician, whom she assisted regularly. At the time when Muhammad's early followers were engaged in war, she led a group of volunteer nurses to the battlefield to treat and care for the injured and dying. After the Muslim state was established in Medina, she was given permission by Muhammad to set up a tent outside the mosque to treat the ill and to train more Muslim women and girls as nurses. Rufayda is described as a woman possessing the qualities of an ideal nurse, compassionate, empathetic, a good leader and a great teacher. She is said to have provided health education to the community, helped the disadvantaged like orphans and the disabled, advocated for preventative care, and even to have drafted the world's first code of nursing ethics. <laughs> <laughs> nursing in hospitals In hospitals built in the medieval Muslim society male nurses tended to male patients and female nurses to female patients. The hospital in al Kairawan in English was especially unique among Muslim hospitals for several reasons. Built in 830 by the order of the Prince Ziadid Allah I of Ifriqiya 817-838, the Al-Dimna Hospital, constructed in the Dimna region close to the Great Mosque of al Kairawan, was quite ahead of its time. It had the innovation of having a waiting area for visitors, not to mention that the first official female nurses were hired from Sudan to work in this hospital. Moreover, aside from regular physicians working there, a group of religious imams who also practiced medicine, called Fugaha al-Badin, provided service as well, likely by tending the patient's spiritual needs. References <laughs> <laughs>